Eva, how are you? I hope you're well. I hope you've had a nice morning so far. Um, I have to say, I think it's absolutely freezing. I don't think winter is coming. I think winter has come. So I'm going to try and get warm. If not, I'm going to have to buy some kind of sweater. So let's sit down and let's start by stretching out our back and our shoulders. Okay. So lying on your bolster, have your shoulder blades right on the bolster and then stretch your arms above your head, really stretching out fully, letting your shoulders drop back and your chest open. Maybe wiggle a little bit from side to side just to lengthen your back and lengthen the stretch. Really feel the whole of your back and your chest opening. nicer when you've been sitting at a table or sitting at a desk when you can stretch everything out it's great for releasing stress as well okay stretch a bit longer really really going as far as you can together on your chest and roll off your bolster. Okay, and then move it out of the way. Okay, come over onto your knees and slowly standing up. Facing the front of your mat, take your arms up above your head, again stretching. Nice and tall, with your core in, really using your core muscles, tucking your bum under, opening through your shoulders and your back. So going into a crescent shape with your upper body. Okay, and hinging over at your hips, taking your hands down to the floor. Extending through your back, knees slightly bent, chest along your thighs, crown towards the floor. Really release forwards and downwards. Gently straighten your legs. Trying to extend through your back. Okay, now right foot back, left foot back, and into downward facing dog. Starting high on your toes, knees slightly bent. Ears between your elbows and really opening through your chest and your shoulders. Slowly straighten your legs, drop your heels to the floor and tuck your hips high into the air. Okay, right leg forward. Left leg forward, back into forward bend. And slowly. 
slowly come up into Tanasana. Arms above your head. Opening your shoulders into a crescent. Okay, and again, hinge forward into forward bend. Legs nice and straight this time. Left leg back, right leg back, and again into downward facing dog. Really tilting your hips high into the air, really opening through your chest and shoulders, pushing your heels towards the ground. Drop onto all fours, hands forward a little bit, and into baby cobra, opening through your chest, letting your shoulder blades move closer together in your back. towards the wall. Back into downward facing dog. Left foot forward. Right foot forward. Into forward bend. Coming up and standing. Arms up above your head. Link your hands together this time. Put your palms up towards the ceiling. Stretch up. Opening your upper body, arms going slightly backwards. Okay, drop your arms back down to your side. Face the centre. Take your arms out. Hinge forward, into forward bend. Put your fingertips beside your feet. Drop your bum down into chair, taking your arms forward and above your head. Really imagine you're sitting backwards into a chair. Okay, hands down, legs straight, bring forward bend again. And again, dropping your thumb down into chair, taking your arms out above your head. Okay, coming up. And up into Tadasana. Turn to face the front. Hinge forward into forward bend. Right 
right leg back. As though you're going back into downward facing dog, but drop your right knee down to the ground. Taking your hands onto your left knee, so you're in a low lunge. Nice and straight, lengthening through your back, lengthening through your neck. Take your arms up above your head, taking the weight out of the small of your back. Okay, stretching forwards. So you're really stretching here through your hip and you're opening through your chest. down, tuck your feet under, okay lunge with your straight leg, take your left leg back and down facing dog, forward into plank, to push up, knees down onto the floor and into cobra. Back into downward facing dog. Bring your right leg forward. Drop your left knee down onto the ground. Hands onto your right knee. So you're in a low lunge. Take your arms up above your head. Weight out of the small of your back stretching forward so you're really opening through your hip and opening through your chest nice crescent hands down onto the ground tuck your toes under straighten your leg so you're in a lunge with a straight leg Pushing back through your heel, you can take your right foot back, back into downward facing dog, opening through your chest, hips high in the air, okay, left foot forward, Right foot forward, into forward bend, legs perpendicular, extending through your back, okay, coming up to centre, arms above your head. Turn to face front. Take your feet three or four foot apart. Facing front, wiggle your shoulders. I'm stiff as a board, never mind. Okay, turn your right leg out, right foot even out. Uh, 90 degrees, arms out to the side, drop your right knee down to 90 degrees, looking over the middle finger of your right hand,
really feel the stretch, keeping your knee back. Okay, now taking your right elbow onto your right knee, opening through your chest, zippering your left arm up to make a nice long straight line and looking under your arm up at the ceiling. Really opening through your chest. Okay, back into centre. Turn your left foot out 90 degrees. Bend your left knee down to 90 degrees, keeping your knee back. Looking over the middle finger of your left hand. Drop your left elbow onto your left knee. Zipper your right arm up. Looking under your arm up at the ceiling, really opening your chest, nice long straight line. Take your hands, join them together behind your back and arms up into the air so you're really opening your shoulders. Bring your feet in. Okay, turn to face the front of your mat. Okay, arms up, ready to hinge, hands on the ground. Feet back into down facing dog. Heels towards the ground, roll forward into plank, into push up, down onto the ground, okay, not too far forward as usual. Okay, keep your hands front of your shoulders, ready to move forwards and up into Cobra. Okay, gently move your upper body forwards and up, really opening through your chest with your shoulder blades moving closer towards each other in your back. Taking the weight out of your, the small of your back, and really bending through your upper back and your chest. should be looking forwards onto the floor in front of you but forwards at sort of 45 degree angle in front of you. So if 
for me it's like looking just past my two bullets. And come ready down onto the ground again. more forward and up into cobra. Just see if you can straighten your arms totally, but keeping the weight out of the small of your back. Take your hands down beside your body, bend your knees, grab your ankles with your hands, and get ready to go forwards and up, and then into bow. So, okay, forwards and up, and then start pushing your ankles into your hands and take your legs off the ground, really opening through your chest. Okay, release, let go of your ankles. Take hold of your ankles. Get ready. Forwards and up. And then pushing your ankles into your hands. Really opening your chest. and straight and getting ready for camel. So only go as far as you want. You can either just start to go back like that, opening your chest, leaning backwards. If you want to go further, you can take your hands onto your heels and really push your chest forwards while you do it okay so it's not really bending your back so much as pushing your chest forwards and trying to have your arms perpendicular okay so only do what's comfortable okay Coming forward on your 
sitting bones, way to evenly between them, but more to the front of your sitting bones, not back like that. So nice straight back. Maybe even slightly forward bend. Okay, and then take your left knee over to join the right with the arch of your foot going into the sole of your other foot. Knee dropping to the ground, sitting straight, twisting your body. Hands on the ground, back straight, neck straight. And really feel the release of tension through your back. shoulders. And with each inhale, lengthen and each exhale, deepen. Okay, back to cobbler. Nice and straight and tall. And then over to the other side, dropping your right arch into your left sole, sitting up straight, lengthening and twisting. So you can really feel all of the muscles the whole way up and down your back releasing. swivel round, ready to lie down on your mat. Okay, so lie on your back, legs out straight, bend your right knee into your chest, straighten your leg, taking your hands behind your thigh or behind your calf or grabbing hold of your foot. Use a strap if you find it easier. Straighten your leg, keeping your shoulders on the ground and just feel the release all the way down the back of your leg, your hamstrings, through your glutes and through your lower back. behind your thigh or behind your calf or grabbing hold of your foot or with a strap. Keeping your leg nice and straight. Feel the release of all the muscles all the way down the back of your leg, through your bum, in your lower back. Okay, release. Now, let your feet and your ankles drop out to the side. Roll your shoulders back and under, 
hands six or eight inches away from your body with your palms facing up. long breaths right the way in and exhale fully out. So inhale and exhale. And again inhale. Breathing come back to normal and just breathe into any areas of your body where you feel any tension, any tiredness, any tightness. Keep your neck long, so maybe with your chin dropping slightly towards your chest. Empty your head of any thoughts and now focus on just relaxing all of the muscles. Starting with your forehead, let go of the muscles and around your eyes, your cheeks, let your jaw drop open and your tongue drop away from the roof of your mouth. Feel the flow of relaxation continue through your neck, into your shoulders, letting your chest drop further open into the floor beneath you. Let it flow down your arms, down your spine, into your hips, letting your hips and your pelvic girdle just fall further open. Through your glutes, along your hamstrings, the back of your knees, everything relaxing down your calves, through your ankles, through your feet, and just let the flow of relaxation go from the top of your head right the way down and out through your feet into the earth beneath you, cleansing, releasing all the toxins, cleansing them out of your body. Just wave after wave of flowing relaxation. Relaxing deeper each time. And gently start to feel the warmth of the earth beneath you. The energy that it's giving back to you. Think of it like a a warm golden light, a warm golden wave of energy filling your body. Let the warmth travel all the way up from your feet, the whole way up and into your head. Little bubbles of energy, replenishing, rejuvenating, energising every part of you. Okay, gently bringing your knees in towards you, just roll over onto your right hand side. Stay there for a moment and then when you feel ready, use your hands to help you come back up into sitting position. Come into sitting position on your mat. Taking your arms out to the side and above your head and bringing your hands together in prayer position on your chest. Think of energy, of warm golden light. Think of how wonderful your posture feels now. You've opened your chest, you've opened your back, you've released your shoulders really worked well on lengthening, strengthening. Okay, recall 
pull that energy, you pull that beautiful feeling of straightness throughout your body and release. Okay, gently open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for coming. Okay, I have just one trick to show you, which I actually love right at the end of everything, after I've finished, well, at this stage now. Um, if you stand up, this is something that I got from Ballet Pilates. Um, okay, it's where you stand up really straight and tall, good position, good posture, and you start to roll down into a forward bend, but you're rolling literally, you feel the roll through every single vertebra. So it's not straight back, it's not anything, you are literally trying to bend the whole of your spine, one vertebra at a time. So very slowly and gently, it's not forcing, it's just letting everything release. So just gently start to do it. Start to release forward, rolling down slowly, vertebra by vertebra. And then the same thing coming back up, rolling up, vertebra by, by vertebra. Very good. I just love that as a last release. I just find it loosens everything. It's great. There's another thing to show you. Sorry, I've got completely distracted here. Another exercise that's really good. Get a strap. This is very good for opening your shoulders. Um, get a strap in front of you that's holding your hands slightly more than shoulder distance apart, okay? And take your arms up to shoulder height and then over your head, good posture, so taking your core in, your bum in, okay, and going back. Now the fact that you've got your hands um, slightly wider than shoulder distance, you can really loosen everything. Okay, and back forwards again, keeping the strap taut, and again up and back. just wanted to show you that quickly um, it's really good if you've been sitting because you get so rigid um, and that is a great way of loosening all parts of your shoulder and chest uh, and it really sort of unfree you know it frees them where you're a bit blocked it's one of the best warm-ups it doesn't matter whether you're doing it for exercise or whether you're just doing it because you want to feel looser during the day, it's a lovely way of warming up, opening up, releasing. And then it helps so much with posture because sometimes it's quite difficult to start releasing your shoulders. But doing that, because you've got it wider, it lets all parts of your shoulder open. So it's really, it's the whole of your shoulder joint and you can go further back 
than when your hands are kept close together. Anyway, this is my piece of information for today. Also, I'm thinking of doing yin yoga. Now, I don't know if anyone's interested. If you are, let me know. Yin is where it's very slow, um, but it's really to help relax everything, release everything. And it helps on your fascia, it helps on your joints, um, it helps give a lot more flexibility. But it's not pushing and it's not fast, so you hold the pose for a lot longer. And you don't want pain, you just feel the edge and just go a little bit further, but you let your body do it naturally. Anyway, if you're interested, let me know. I think I might do a couple of sessions of that just to see what you think because anything for more flexibility because it's so much less aches and pains if you've got that. Okay, I'm babbling. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.